ओके ना वी हेड लैपड द वैल सीट द वैल सीट इस ओके इन ए गुड कंडीशन ना वी विल पुट सम इंसर्ट्स इंसर्ट्स दिस इज बेसिकली अ शिम्स वी हैव वन टू थ्री फोर शिम्स वी पुट ऑल फोर शिम्स एंड वी एन शूट द थ्रेड्स आर ओके एंड वी विल पुट सम मॉलीकोट दिस इज बेसिकली अ Thread C and our flange is also clean. Okay, now we can fit back our valve. So before fitting, ensure the threads are clean. Okay, anyway, our thread is clean. Now we are tightening it. Tighten it firmly. Now we'll fit it. We'll fit it in a vice, and ensure while fitting in the vice, we should keep some copper plates so it should not damage the valve. Okay. Okay, the valve is fitted. Now we can tighten, tighten it. Tight it. Tight the lock nut. Okay, now, now lock the. the nut Valves lock with a locking washer. This is to ensure the valve should not fall out. Now the valve is tightened, and we apply some grease in the valve operating handle. So in order to Avoid any seizure of valve during operation. Very frequently, we have to do the greasing for all the valves so that we will avoid uh, jamming of valves. Okay, now we can box up the valves in place. Okay, now the valve seat is also ready. Now the flange is ready, and now we replace the gasket with a new graphite. Usually we use graphite gasket for steam lines. This is for uh, high temperature lines. So all the bolts are coated with molly coat in order to uh, rust prevention, anti-seizure paste. 
can call it as as a anti seizure paste and uh, our valve is ready to box up so we followed almost all procedure to do the overall of the valve only one thing we did is we didn't remove the entire valve we did the overall operation in place so we didn't renew the renew the flange gaskets as we don't uh, remove the valve completely out so we keep the, the valve in place and remove only the top bonnet we lapped it ensure the face mating face is uh, free with any dents and now we are boxing back so we are putting back the valve the valve is completely clean neat and uh, we are going to put back so now the valve is in place now we can put back the valve in place and now the valve is seated properly now we put back all the bolts grab all the bolts and tighten it that's all the valve overall is done successfully so now once you are uh, done you can open the steam check out whether it is leaking or not and actually this is your uh, insulation for high temperature because this is a high temperature uh, line so it should be always insulated with any kind of insulation so once you are done with the valve you put back the insulation for watching thank you